guys, I'm back with another natural hairstyle tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get that big curly high poof and how to slay those edges, girl. This is a cute back to school hairstyle or just an everyday natural hairstyle. So if you like this look, then stay tuned. So this is how my hair looked after I took down my braids from wearing my wigs. And it's dry as you can tell, so I'm going to add water first and I'm going to use my liquid conditioner. You should always style your hair after using a wet product because you're going to do a lot of breakage and damage if you just brush your hair or comb your hair while it's dry. So make sure that you add plenty of water and conditioner and moisturizers for your natural hair before you style it. And you can see that my edges are completely rough and my hair. And I have not washed my hair, I just literally took the braids down and I'm just going to do this quick lazy hairstyle. Now I'm using my brush to brush up my hair and my edges to get them semi straight before I apply my gel. And this is the best type of brush with the best bristle to style natural hair. I just call it a boy brush because most boys use this brush when they're trying to get their waves. So yeah, that's the best brush to use. It was only a dollar. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my Eco Styler Gel. I'm using both the Argan Oil, which is the red container, and I'm using the green one, which contains olive oil. I just like to mix both of them, but the difference between the two is that the Argan Oil with the red top has a more extra firm hold than the green one. I'm just going to lather this all over my edges and over the top of my hair or the front so that I can slick those edges down and I'm of course going to apply it to the back. Okay, and using this regular stretchy headband that I got from the beauty supply store, I'm going to stretch that around my head twice, but I'm going to secure the back part first by using two bobby pins. Now this is it for the girls who want to have a very, very huge high puff and you want it to kind of start um, lower in the back. So this is what I would recommend you to do if you want it to be extra big. Okay, so I prefer for it to be a little bit higher. So now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you slide the back up a little bit. I'm just going to readjust that and just bring the pins upwards towards the top of my hair so that the puff can just sit straight at the top.
couple of flowers on a beautiful day, daydream. I dream of you amid the flowers for a couple of hours. Such a beautiful day, daydream. Okay, so after I've positioned my hair poof, I'm going to go ahead and reapply the gel so that I can go ahead and slick my edges before I lay them down with my scarf. I dream of you amid the flowers for a couple of hours. Such a beautiful day. Okay, and I'm going to show you guys the three types of gels that I use. Well, they're not gels, they're actually edge controls. I use the Lotta Body first because I like how it has sheen. And it's kind of thick, but to be honest, by itself, it doesn't hold the hair as well. So that's why I recommend using the scarf, which I'll show you later. But I'm just using the Lotta Body because I love how it smells also. And after that, I'm going to use the Edge Wax. Not the Bees Wax, but the Edge Wax Extreme Hold. And this is much, much, much thicker, but it doesn't have much sheen to it. It just really just lays the hair down in place. So I'm just going to use that as a backup edge control. And then after that, I'm going to use my very favorite um, Eben edge control. Now it has both shine and super hold, but I just felt like being extra today and using all three just because this is a demo. But if you don't have all three, the best of these three is the last one, the Eben New York um, edge control. And even if you don't have any of these edge controls, honestly, the Eco Styler Gel by itself will put your edges in place as long as you tie it down with a scarf to secure your edges. Now I'm using an old toothbrush. This is not my toothbrush. This is an edge toothbrush, okay? That's why it's dirty because it's used to my makeup and my hair products. And I'm just creating some little baby hairs. You know, you have to have the baby hairs on fleek. I only have a few of them, but I'm going to try to exercise the ones that I do have. Try to put those out there for promotion. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and tie my scarf and make sure that you tie your scarf tight, but make sure that it's not too tight to the point where you fall out and collapse because we don't want those problems, girl. And I'm just going to wrap it around twice and tie the knot wherever it goes. Okay, so this is for the girls who don't have those natural curly curly curls and your hair is kind of kinky. I'm going to just apply water and then I'm going to use Eco Styler Gel. This is what I'm, the white stuff that's appearing to be white right now. Trust me, later it's going to clear once it um, dries up. These two gels are definitely clear when they dry up. So I'm just going to use my little dimming brush and brush some of the little separate curls to just basically bring back the, the actual curl pattern. And as you can see, my hair is curlier once I use that Demon brush. And that's the same technique that I use with my curly extensions as well. And I'm just using my fingers to twirl the ends of some of the hairs individually. And then I'll just split them up and you'll see how they look when they dry. And this is the best technique that I use. And of course, you have to dampen your hair first before you do this. Because remember I said you should never use dry hair or never let your hair be dry when you're styling it. And this is what you do in place of, you know, doing a braid out or a twist out. You don't have to do all of that. You just use Eco Styler Gel, water, and a Denman brush. And of course, your fingers as well. So I'm just going to do this around all of the hairs that I feel like I want to stand out. And then I'm going to come back to you guys when it's dry. For a couple of hours, on a beautiful day, day dream. I dream of you amid the flowers, for a couple of hours. Such a beautiful day, day dream. 
Okay, so now you see how the curls have pretty much dried. Some of them in the front haven't just dried yet, but you see the others aren't as white anymore, and my edges are slick now after I remove the scarf. Now, honestly, in this video, I did rush this process, so my hair isn't like bone, bone straight as I want it to be. If I had left the scarf on, though, it would have been much straighter and definitely harder. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did, thumbs up and please leave a comment in the comment section. Also, make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more updates. See you guys in the next video.